So I had a little incident on the motorcycle. Now, before we get into it, I wanna say right from the beginning, I didn't have a GoPro on, I didn't record the incident, but this video is gonna be kind of like a storytelling session so that we can relive the experience and hopefully learn something from it and share it with you guys. Having said that, long story short, what happened was I was riding on a back road going about 40 miles an hour and I saw a deer, got on my brakes, started to slow down, deer ran out in front of me, hit my front tire to the left, slammed the bike down to the right because of that impact. Given how violent it felt, I think the bike and myself made out really well. You can see that the frame sliders did their job. The damage was minimal to the bike. I got to ride it home, it was just cosmetic. And for myself, I made out pretty well too. The biggest thing is my hip took a big impact. It's all bruised and uh, pretty uncomfortable and a little tiny bit of road rash on my knee, but that's not even a big deal. And that's all. I made out really lucky, I think, for the situation, but I wanna dive into all the details, the entire story and relive it moment by moment, but we're gonna do that once we get up in the air. Speaking of which, the weather outside is a little bit sketchy. There's rain coming in from the Southwest right now, and I'm gonna meet Jeff down there anyway. We're gonna hope that it's good to go. And if we get any rain, it's just gonna be a drizzle. It's not like a thunderstorm or anything. So we're gonna check it out. Let's uh, head to the park and get up in the air. Oh, 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 beauty mate. Jeff and I have been hanging out down here at the park. Remember that impending rain I was talking about? It hit us and it's been raining, as you can see. So we almost gave up hope, but it just stopped. Um, there still is rain like out in Pennsylvania headed this way, but it's just drizzle, so it can't be bad. Check out Jeff's smoke. Yes! All right, I'm gonna take advantage of this opportunity and get up ASAP. It might start raining, but we're gonna have to see. Um, we might just get a quick one. Let's go for it. All right, here we go. in that butter smooth air. Yeah, buddy. Just as I get in the air, I'm feeling a little bit of sprinkles, but I think it's fine. All right, so as we buzz around, before uh, it starts raining too much that we have to land, I want to just describe this motorcycle situation to you guys. So let me set the scene. Jack and I met up for lunch at Panera. I was on my motorcycle, she was in her car, we're headed home and I'm in the lead and I had lost her. She was behind me kind of far. So I pulled over into a little uh, pull off, waited for her to catch up. And at this point I pulled out behind her and I was following her the rest of the way home. I filmed a little clip so you guys can see the road that it happened on. This is a back road, slow speed road. I was doing about 40 miles an hour. I wasn't going fast, honestly. As you'll see in the video clip, the road goes up this little hill. Jacqueline's in front of me at a safe distance. And as I come over the crest of this hill, immediately I see Jacqueline um, tapping her brakes. And I noticed that and I was like, she's definitely signaling something. So I did a scan, as you would, and I saw this deer. Now the deer's on the right side, right by this guy's mailbox. And I'm like, well, that's obviously a deer deer unpredictable. I'm going to hit my brakes and right as I go to pass the deer, he's already running full speed into the road. And I'm telling you the timing couldn't have been any worse. I was already on my brakes slowing down. I probably, I would estimate I was going 40. I might've gotten down to 35 
as fast as I could react. I hit the brakes to slow down. This deer runs out right in front of me and it was just like, deer, brakes, boom, hits my front tire. Now the way he hit my front tire, he was running right to left really fast and he clipped to the very front of my front tire. So what that did was push my tire to the left, which counter steering drops the bike to the right. We're gonna both blow our smoke like a bunch of hooligans. Ready, smoke cam. More smoke. <laughs> So the bike hits my tire, I smack the ground, and I'm telling you, like, I smacked it pretty good. And uh, my elbow hit first, my right elbow, and I was wearing my jacket, which is a padded textile jacket. So that elbow pad really saved my elbow. I hit hard. If I was wearing a t-shirt, my elbow probably would have been down to the bone with road rash and maybe even broken my arm. Second was my hip, and my hip hit really hard. Now here's the thing. I was wearing my helmet, my gloves, and my jacket. No riding pants, just shorts. And I know I will save everyone's time from commenting down below that you must wear riding pants and full leathers 100% of the time, all the time. I know this. And going into it, I know that in riding with shorts, I risk hurting my lower half more than necessary. That's just a known risk. I decide to take that risk. The biggest thing, the biggest thing I'm like still healing from is smacking my hip so hard that it's like the size of a grapefruit of black and blue bruising. Freaking Jeff putting out the smoke. <laughs> Jacqueline was in front of me and obviously she had seen the deer. She saw it at probably the same moment I saw it because she was ahead of me, which was almost a beam the deer. Anyway, she saw in her rear view mirror all of this go down. I hit the pavement, I probably slid about 30 feet, and she saw this all happening. I stopped in the middle of the lane, uh, separated from the bike. I got up immediately, and I was just kind of in a state of shock. The deer's still laying on the ground in the opposite lane. The deer gets up and runs away, and then my attention turns to the bike, and Jacqueline comes running uh, down the road from where she pulled over. She starts crying because she was so concerned that I just biffed super hard. She comes over and she like gives me a hug and I'm like, oh my God, what the hell just happened? Um, and of course she's like, are you okay? And I'm like, screw me, let's pick up the bike. So she grabs the handlebars, I grab the back end. I think she probably lifted the bulk of the weight, which is impressive. At the end of the day, the conclusion I've come to is in this situation, it was one of those accepted risks of doing a certain sport. I hate to be that guy, but I don't really think there was much I could do to make the situation better. The only thing that could have happened was if I saw the deer earlier. And now, I've lived in this area my whole life. I know that there's deer everywhere, especially this season. They're out daytime, nighttime, particularly the nighttime, but all the time. So I'm always looking for deer. It's just a thing you do. Um, but this particular deer was a little bit camouflaged. He was up against the rock wall, which made him hard to see. He was a smaller deer, and they've changed colors now. So honestly, it was pretty hard to see. And maybe if I had spotted him earlier, like a fraction of a second earlier, I probably would have reacted quicker, and he probably would have scraped by right in front of my tire and not hit me at all. So I got a piece of mail at the P.O. Box. P.O. Box 225 Asbury, New Jersey. Send me things if you want to. Um, I can't promise that I'll open all of them on camera. I did like mail time a while ago and there was just too much stuff. It would have been in, like in every single video way too often, but um, every so often I get something special and I want to share this one with you guys. Dude, this is difficult. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna read this. I'll chop it down to the important bits. This is how it goes. I've been a fan of your YouTube channel for about a year and a half. What you have done for me is inexplicable. 
For the last two years, I have dealt with my baby sister dying. Your videos have taken me out of my head. Sorry, man, you're, this note's getting really crumpled. If you could please take this note up with you on one of your flights, sign it and send it back to me. I sure would love to see a video of that flight. Thanks a ton for what you do and what you continue to do. Signed, Jimmy. This wasn't particularly the best flight to bring a note up because it's wet and it's windy, but we did it, Jimmy. And I appreciate you reaching out. I'm very sorry to hear about your sister. I'm glad that I could help you and uh, help cheer you up a little bit. I'll sign that note and send it back to you. It seems like the rain has picked up just a little bit. It's not stopping Jeff. He's blowing out more baby oil. Let's follow his roller coaster ride. Swoopy doop, up and over and down. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a little bit of wing overs or something in this field and then we'll come in for a landing. All right, let's sink her down with some wing overs. I'll blow out the rest of my smoke. I don't know if you can tell, but it's raining, it's dark. We went out for dinner with Jacqueline and Jeff and just came back. But yeah, it's pouring and it's been pouring since sunset. So I feel pretty lucky that we got that little 45 minute flight in. I hope you guys enjoyed my story of the motorcycle crash. I hope you don't go too crazy in the comments telling me to wear pants. But uh, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next episode for more paramotor adventures. Till then, peace out. Zzz.